Yo. Yes. Same bitch I had under the wing became my enemy. I don't give a fuck, I'm a grind until infinity. Everybody acting real finicky, I got energy. I don't give a fuck if they all die, remember me. Old school legend like Busy B with the Hennessy. Live in Tennessee with my mini me's, we the trilogy. White bitch chunky as fuck, Mediterranean. Army of the laws, the future, y'all know what gang we in. Everybody think we Albanians, we Iranian. Big cranium, chain chunky, solid uranium. Spaceship flashy as fuck, call it a strobe light. Niggas think they up like a cop fucking my old wife I don't give a fuck about nothing long as the coke white Coke pipe up in the diva getting the hoes hype Niggas ain't ready for war, they so broken The hood full of scavenger thieves and old vultures Black people lost in the sauce with no culture Cold toaster, extra brawling like Hulk Hogan Young boy running the streets thinking he G'd up All he do is focus on Henny and stay E'd up Pants sagging, shoestrings loose, his clothes peed up Three slots slow to his family, trying to read up White man, black man, read all about it, the government is killing us all, they want power, young dude stuck in the hood smoking on sour, bitches on a staircase fucking for two dollars. Peace people, this is pretty much a quick message to all the gangs of America, I don't care which state you come from. I don't care what sex you claim. You dudes better clean up your act. The American government, the FBI, is waging war on all gangs and a cleaning house all over America, especially in New York. If you dudes ain't paying attention to what happened to A.R. Ab, Bobby Smurda, Takashi 69 and the Treyway crew. Rallo. I mean, we could keep on going on. Sex Money Murder. Rod Diggs and his crew. The FBI ain't playing no game. The scariest part about it that I need you dudes to understand is that they're catching dudes. That's committing crimes that you would get two or three years in state penitentiary, beefing the charges up, and hitting brothers with life bids under RICO acts, under, un, under terroristic acts. And see, that's another thing I want y'all to understand too. Under the Patriot Law, it states that if they charge you under the Patriot Act, you pretty much can be deemed a terrorist and exiled out of the country or put in jail indefinitely without a trial. I need for you dudes to understand something. The days of repping your set on social media is over with. Wake up and smell a coffee or be destroyed by your own ignorance and lack of knowledge. I need for y'all to understand something. John Gotti, the Teflon Dawn, he was the downfall of the mob. He was the downfall of the mob. You know why? Because he wanted to rep his set. He wanted to be the, the Dapper Dan. He wanted to be all up in the video, all up on the radio like Suge said, all up on the magazines, which no other gangster has done ever in the, the history of the mob. And because of that, he took down every mob family. So now, with that being said, the reason why we reflect backwards with the looking eye is to examine history and learn from the mistakes. Every last one of these brothers that ran around trying to get popular, trying to have a name, everybody on the street corner knew who these brothers was. Pistol Pete, Rod Diggs, now the new Treyway crew, Bobby Smurda and his crew. Y'all got to understand something, man. These people ain't playing no games. They putting lights out. They putting your lights out. They putting your lights out. And the sad part about it is all these crews 
that you see getting locked up, yeah, they put that work in. They put that pain in on the streets. But when these dudes hit the inside of that penitentiary, they singing. Because they want to see the outside. They want to see the time of day. To avoid all that. It's time to go underground. Understand something. I want y'all to understand something. Stop going to stop. I said this before and I'm going to say it again. Stop throwing up gang signs on social media. Stop tattooing your gang set on you. I got friends that got 10 years in the federal penitentiary just because they had a body examination and they had they set tatted on them. And because they had they set tatted on them, that was enough to convict them. Under Rico, dudes got 10 years in jail, not because they got caught for a crime, but because they was gang affiliated and had they set tatted on their body. Understand something, there's a war going on outside, no man is safe from, ain't nobody safe. You are on social media throwing up your set, Instagram, Facebook. You in pictures, you don't even have an Instagram or Facebook, but you got a friend that like to take pictures of you. And they posting pictures of you, gang affiliated, on social media, and you don't even have a social media. You got to understand something. The people that you talking to over the phone, that you having phone conversations with, you have to understand those phone conversations that you're not involved with, they talking about you. They talking about what you're doing behind your back. One of my right-hand mans is in jail right now because his right-hand mans was gossiping about him. Gossiping While he playing the game for over 30 years without being caught He gets caught And caught up in the game Because people are gossiping about what he got What he doing How he moving And it opened up an investigation back They've been trying to get him for 30 years But because other niggas whispering about him It's how he went down If you Intend on getting caught And you intend on doing the rest of your life in jail playing with the FBI, playing with the American government like they playing with you, then keep on repping that set. But when you go to jail, don't be writing no letters home or flipping on a cell phone because somebody ain't send you no commissary because you was getting all that bread or you, was, you wasn't even getting bread, but you gang affiliated, broke, running around looking stupid, no benefits to it. So then when you go to jail, don't be looking for a female to do the bed because you now you think she's supposed to be doing 20 years in jail with you over some dumb shit. She's supposed to be doing 20 years in jail with you over some dumb shit. Nah, scratch that. Now your kids don't have a father. But yet you're going to tell Shorty to keep sending you commissary, taking out of the house, knowing she on welfare. Knowing she barely even have car fare to get back and forth, but you asking for some sneakers in the yard. And you think that somebody, some woman, your mother, whether your girlfriend, whether your mother, or them niggas that's left in the street that you wasn't even breaking bread with, they owe you something. Nah, niggas don't owe you nothing. You knew better, you do better. Your gang affiliations is going to destroy you. Running around, affiliated with a gang, repping yourself and that set, and everybody know what you are, who you are. If everybody in the streets know what you are, and who you are, if everybody on social media know who you are and what you are, then that means the FBI know who you are and what you are. These people ain't playing. Every conversation you having over the phone, they listening to. Every time you jump on that highway and you going through state to state, you passing through the toll booth. They keeping tracks on you. They keeping files on you. They know when you're sleeping. They know when you're awake. They know when you pick up through facial recognition and play with your cell phone. They know through facial rec recognition, or rather, not just through fake facial recognition, they know through your cell phone where you travel to. Your cell phone leaves a signature, a fingerprint of every place that you go. Through your cell phone speaking, they got you voice identified. Through your cell phone and your tablets, they done read your eye rectum. So now they pretty much know the fingerprint of your eyeball, the fingerprint of your finger. Everything about you, they keeping scores on. You think this is a game? They know when you piss. They know when you shit. 
They know when you're sleeping. They even can track your health through your cell phone. Understand that. This system is not playing with you. They're playing for keeps. You have to decide. Are you trying to stay out in these streets and you playing for keeps? Or you want to be fly for the camera? Say cheese. The FBI is watching. They taking a picture, a picture of you and they got you. Do not go out and do not be like those that came before you or those that was during your time. Learn from their mistakes. Don't be the next Bobby Smurda. Do not be the next Takashi 69. Do not be the next Pistol Pete. Do not be the next Rod Diggs. And don't be the next Alpo. Because at the end of the day, y'all dudes know y'all not built to do the rest of y'all life in jail. Nor should you want to be built to spend the rest of your life in jail because you a grown up man throwing up a gang goddamn sign on social media. Everybody don't need to know what you are. On top of the fact that the worst part about it is what you get, you brothers and sisters that's in the gang, is that y'all supposed to be the army of our people. And y'all not repping y'all set to protect the hood. You repping your set to destroy the hood. Get your shit together. Get your priorities together. Go underground. Go underground. Go underground. Nobody needs to know who you are, what you are, and to us that time. Silence is golden. You dudes is too loud. Anyway, people, that's my take on this situation. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Make sure y'all hit that share button. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. And... Stay out of jail. Stay home. Remember, they build the new jails every day to put your black ass in. Understand that? Hit that like button. Hit that share button. Hit that subscribe button. And stay tuned for more videos. If you're not subscribed to my other channels, please subscribe. Go to the channel button. You'll see I have three channels. Subscribe to the other two channels because if you don't, Nine times out of ten, due to the haters keep flagging my page, they may shut this one down. So y'all got to be on the other pages so y'all can get this real shit that ain't nobody else spitting. Peace and love.